I'm Anthony Scaramucci. I'm Katie Stockton at CMT, and uh, we just finished our panel. It's a media panel, and thank you, Anthony, for your time. So tell Thanks us your impression Katie. of the event and the MTA. Oh, well, I think it's a fantastic event. I also think in this market environment, you have to have all sorts of tools, and one of the main tools you need to have is a, a technical tool technical analytical tool and so uh, it's great to be here with you guys and I will make a confession I am a convert uh, and so you know converts get more passionate than people that true, aren't converted yeah. and so when I started in the career uh, the, the asset management group that I was working with beat into me fundamentalism uh, and more or less said that the technicals like call it an ism. <laughs> yeah exactly and, and, and people said that the technicals could be disregarded and I think that's absolutely false uh, because technicals build a lot of human behavior in the assessment of where price discovery is and so it's super important for people to learn about technicals and if you're a young person looking at this tape please learn about technical analysis yes, that's good. So now you're obviously in touch with the hedge fund world. Yes. Now, what is your sense in terms of the usage on the part of hedge funds of technical research? Do you feel like a lot of them are using it sort of under the radar? Oh, I, I think that uh, over the radar and under, under the, the radar, radar, I would course. say that uh, technical analysis has permeated almost every sector of the hedge fund industry now. Not just the long short managers, but the macro managers, the credit managers. I'll give you one quick example. You know, the Fed. Uh, in AIG, there was some technical selling that took place in the third quarter of 2011 that brought bond prices down to what looked like they were off the market fundamentally. And just by looking at the technicals, you could see where the support level was and where the opportunity was for uh, you know the, the upstart of the buying. Right. And so uh, we look at those things. Uh, our our managers that we fund to look at those things. And so I think it's widespread. And I think, I'll make a prediction for you, the next 40 years for the MTA are going to be better than the last 40 years. Well, we sure hope so, no doubt about it. We thank you for your time.